Hello and welcome to the Chris Berkman Experience. I am so excited to have the two tones with me today. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Yes, well, my prediction is that you're going to be the most buzzworthy band in Nashville for 2014. I have been keeping track of you. I uh, don't know if you remember, but I met you at Jen Bostick's show, uh, Billy Block. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Been That's a while. Much, yeah. yeah. Um, so just the energy that you brought forth to your performance was incredible. Just what inspires you as an artist? Um, well, I think we, we just try to have as much fun as possible. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, put on the best show yeah. that we can think of. Yeah, exactly. If, um, I mean, if we're not having fun, then it's probably it's going to be hard for us to expect the audience to yeah. do the yeah. same, you know. So. Well, you have a lot of fun songs. I love the songs. Uh, my favorite is Drummer. Was a rummer. rummer. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's you. pretty much my favorite. So let's just talk a little bit about your songs and where your influence comes from. Uh -huh. um, well, for me, there are three main things that, uh, that I listened to growing mm -hmm. up. And uh, that was the Beatles. Um, Sly and the Family Stone, and then a lot of big band stuff. Yeah. And from that, I would look at, you know, from those three influences, I would look at, well, who influenced them or what started that? And then mm -hmm. just sort of like everything. And yeah. Well, I, I grew up with a lot of the old classic rock stuff, and uh, I really, really love the, the Eagles and, yeah. the, and the Beatles, most definitely there. He got me He got me into the Beatles. Really? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Beatles are amazing. I was, I was uh, not too versed in the uh, the Beatles until this guy came along. Well, I think your sound is very similar, not comparing, but it's it's just, it's very, very Beatle-ish, you know? And I think, why not bring it back? Because there's so, there's so much good music from the past that just is left back there. You know, now we're in a generation of meaningless lyrics, a hook, a beat, you know, when your music is 10 times greater and will impact yeah. more people than Kesha's drinking songs. <laughs> 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 no offense to Kesha, yeah. <laughs> um, but so uh, definitely get your influence from the Beatles and the Eagles and Big Band, which I'm a huge Big Band yeah, fan. Yeah. I mean, let's talk about that now. Um, yeah. So, but I mean, your shows, there's so much energy brought to a show. Um, and your 2013, like, talk about the shows. How many, like, how many would you, if you could guess how many shows you did that year, how many? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm I always gonna... get a notification that you have something going on on my page, so I yeah. think you're all pretty busy. Yeah, we are. We're um, we're just we're always trying to play as many places as possible, mm -hmm. and um, we're always just trying to break down new doors and, and get into the hipper clubs, yeah. you know, which we've kind of started this year. Um, I think I've we've, seen. Yeah, we we got a, a chance to play at the, the basement. Thank That's you, great. Grimey. Yeah. Um, wow. And Austin landed us a cool gig. Yeah, we uh, played at the Five Spot not too oh, long yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I was yeah. going to was attend so that. Great. Where were yes. you, Chris? Yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Crazy busy. But, um, well, I mean, there's just so many doors opening up. And, it, I mean, is it overwhelming? How are you How are you handling that? It's it's fun right yeah, now. Yeah. We're, we're loving it's it. It's just like, yay, another gig. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's just going to keep getting bigger. I mean, the sound, it's... Like, I, I can't get over the sound. I'll keep talking about the sound the whole interview, but, I mean, it's something that's just not done much. Thank so, you. Yeah, of course. And um, so you've got some big shows coming up. One of them you're going to help. Uh, Billy Block was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer, yeah. and so you're going to be a part of that benefit. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you tell him Well, he, he was diagnosed with uh, stage four melanoma, which I think is, like, skin cancer. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, I don't really know much about, you know, his condition and everything, but we're gonna we're gonna be a part of his benefit for one of his shows coming up in the, the end of January, and uh, hopefully we're gonna put together, uh, Sam and I are gonna put together a benefit, um, yeah. and invite you know as many people to be a part of it as as we can. Yeah, he's um, he's helped he's, out a lot of a lot of folks. He's sure a, lot of a big part of Nashville. Pass through his stage, so. And, uh, he's definitely helped us out a lot, and uh, we really, really are grateful for it. So, all, almost all of the artists that we've had on here have been a part of his show. Yeah. So it's yeah. just the the connection he has to music in the town. I mean, he's pretty much the Ryan Seacrest of Nashville. I mean, Dick Clark. Let's Dick Clark probably of Nashville. Yeah. So you know, I mean, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, so I mean, he just is has got such a an impact to people because people look to him for what is new, what is fresh, and 
you know, and he keeps bringing people to his show, which is hard to do, you know? Yeah. So, um, but that's such a great thing that you're a part of it and you're um, giving back because, you know, I mean, he was such a big help to you. So I just think that's yeah. huge, you know? Um, so that's a big thing coming up. Um, we're hoping that some material is going to be released this year uh, on iTunes that we can purchase. I'm really excited yeah. about that. So they'll, we'll have to keep updated on that, yeah. on your page for that information. Mm -hmm. But um, so let's just talk about 2014. 2013 was so great. And now we're going into 2014, my prediction for the most buzzworthy band of Nashville for the year. And so what, what do you hope to accomplish? Uh, what's coming up? Let's just talk about that for just a little bit. Uh, well, we're uh, once again wanting to play as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we're uh, sort of uh, talking to a couple different managers. Mm -hmm. We've got some yeah. management things mm -hmm. trying to happen. We've uh, there's a booking agent thing that we're kind of uh, approaching too that we're going to yeah. check out. And um, I don't know how much I can say. No, um, no I completely understand. And uh, but yeah, we're just uh, what we're really wanting to do is. Uh, really find the best way to get our material out to mm -hmm. as many people as possible. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I think you're doing a great job, but you've even seen a spike in your Facebook page we were just talking about. Yeah. So it's, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And it's going to keep growing. I mean, as, as you get more and more out there with your management, with your uh, booking deal, and I'm believing a record deal would come, or if you want to yeah. stay indie, e either option. Well, and there's a, there's another thing too. Um, there's a song that a song that I wrote um, called "Summer Number 17. Mm -hmm. um, we had we had released a, a small album. It's a Sam Hunter and the Two Tones album um, yeah. of last year, and it's it's on that album. But anyways, sorry, I'm rambling. No, but, that's great. Um, the uh, the song "Summer Number 17 was recorded by Ronnie Millsap, and it's uh, it's the title cut of his next album that's oh, coming great. out in a couple weeks. So we're hoping to you know that'll maybe drive some yeah. accidental traffic to our thing yeah. and well and he's you know, been a he's produced some of your stuff is that correct uh, no uh Ron, we're working with his working producer. that's yeah. what it was yeah. uh, yes yeah. so you're working with his producer and yeah i mean that's great that's yeah. it's going to be a great thing and people are you know, again they're just going to be driven to you and you know you're going to create buzz whether you have this kind of interview or not but people want to be a part of it because you know i believe in the band i believe in the sound and you know, I just think great things are going to be achieved, you know. And so this is the first band that I've had on this show, which is kind of a big deal to me. And I, because I've never interviewed two people before. So this is kind of a big deal. Um, but before we close the show today, you're going to perform a song acoustic for us. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I'm so excited. So um, we're going to get to that right before we're finished. But mm -hmm. um, uh, I do want to thank you all for watching the show today and just being a part and um, just Look out for them because they are the band on the rise. Their shows are coming up. Um, website? Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, well, I have a website. It's samhuntermusic.com. And on there, there's a tab that says the band. Okay. And that'll take you right to our Facebook page. And that has all our yeah. pictures and stuff. Yeah. And then the shows and shows. Yeah. They can yes, check out sure. shows. So, um, and you're on Twitter. Yes. Yes. It's, yeah. Is it two tone or what uh, is it? It's the, just uh, the two tones. The two, at sign the two tones. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make sure that you all, the viewers, follow them and support their music. Um, look out for them on iTunes and just stay up to date. You can find out all the information on chrisberkman.com. And uh, thank you for being a part of this experience. Yeah, and uh, I'm excited because as things keep going, you just keep coming back on this show. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. thank you again. And um, we're ready for your performance. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you. Okay.